Hi, this is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Today I want to talk about library feature parts. How do you put parts into a library so that we can reuse them? The same with uh, features that we use. Uh, I've got a uh, uh, D-shaped cut uh, for a, a shaft with a flat spot on it. Uh, for We use this on hand wheels, for instance. How do you grab the, the features that I need uh, and put them into a library feature so I can just drag and drop them onto a new hand wheel and put in my D-shaped cut uh, complete with a set screw hole? How do we do that? So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I've got this shaft on screen, and this shaft here, um, we use this in a few different places, and it's got some configurations here. If I go to the Configuration Manager, it's got a few configurations. Um, and what I want to do is I want to capture the entire shaft, not just some of the features. I want to grab everything. Now, all I have to do is hold the Control key and grab the part name up here at the top of the feature tree. Okay? Just grab that and drag it into my library. Now, if you notice, i got my library uh, open here, and I've got it pinned down. When I drag it and drop it in here uh, with the holding the control key, then it wants to know, it's say it's going to add this item, the shaft. That's what the name of this is right now, shaft, solid part. It's going to add this. I can give this a new name, uh, shaft uh, in library, or whatever makes sense. Give it some part number. It makes no difference to me what you name it, but you know it's going to make a difference to your boss. So name it whatever you want to name it. If I need a description, I can give this a description. A description, there we go. Uh, and I can tell it where I want this to go. Now I've got a couple different years of libraries, but I'm working in 2016. So I can pick a folder here and put it anywhere I want to, uh, or just put it in here in the library uh, at, the, at the root uh, level, and then drag it and drop it into any of these folders later on as I decide what I want to do. So. I've already got this thing named. It's going to be a, a, a solid uh, library uh, feature part. And uh, I've got it uh, ready to go. All I have to do is say OK. And it shows up over here in my library. Now, I'm going to close my original part here. Save this. No, don't need to. Thanks anyway. Um, and I've got this. Now, before I try this out, I'm going to uh, do the same thing with this. I want this lid and this lid again, you know, I've got some configurations of this lid because we use a few different sizes boxes here. And you can see it's got the name uh, here, company name, and I've got a part number uh, five by five for the lid size. Uh, and I want to put that, um, this lid in my uh, library also. So same exact situation, hold the control key, grab the part name up the top of the tree, drag it in and give it something uh, lid. Uh, I'll put in here for a sheet metal box. Whatever. What makes sense to you? Okay. And one, two, three, go. There we go. So now I've got my lid in here. I've got my shaft in here. Uh, and those are ready to go. So I'm going to close those. I've got something else here I'm going to key up in a second. But before I do that, um, I want to go to some of my recent documents here and I want to grab this sheet metal box. Um, yeah, sure, rebuild. <clears throat> Thank you. Now, this is an assembly. This box is in an assembly. <laughs> and I want to grab this shaft and drag it in and try it out. Yeah, oh yeah, look at there, perfect. And what size do I want? That's the one I want right there, and I have the opportunity to go in and add more if I want. No, no thanks. That's it. So I'm all set here. <clears throat> now, the lid. Let's try that. I have mate references on the lid, so all I got to do is just start to bring it in. Boom, there we go. Oh, do I want a different size? Sure, why not? Okay, working, working, working. Okay, do I want any more? No, that's fine. Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong size. I fat fingered it. You know, I wanted a six by six. Right click. And, oh, that's, so, you know, once it's in here, we can take advantage of our configurations uh, and do whatever it is we want to do here. Okay, so I've got my lid, I've got my uh, shaft. They can go where they want to go. Um, and 
right from my library. Very, very handy. So I'm going to close this. Don't need these things right now. Now, I want to capture this D-shaped cut. Okay? And uh, it's got a set screw hole already in place in the middle of this uh, uh, flat space. And uh, where I want to be applying this thing, if I go to my recent documents here, I had a hand wheel open here. Um, and uh, what I want to do, we make different sizes of these wheels. Uh, or those of you that have been to the Essentials class, you recognize this as apart from the uh, Essentials class. At any rate, I want to put this D-shaped cut right there. Well, we make all kinds of different sizes of these things and the custom sizes and et cetera. So I want to be able to capture this information. So I have features here. Now this first feature basically is just a placeholder. It's just something to hold these other features in place. So I want to select, holding control, the two features that I want. Okay, and one is the D-shaped cut, the other one is the set screw cut, and I'm going to capture those. So holding control, I'm just going to drag those features right over into the same place into my library over here in the bottom right and drop it. Same dialog box comes up. Give this thing some meaningful name. Uh, D cut with set screw hole. Uh, tell it where I want to put it. Give it some description if I want to. I don't want to right now. I'll just say OK. Great. Now, the difference between adding my parts and adding this these features is I can control a few things with these. If I close my original part here and open up my um, saved library feature, go to my feature tree here, we've got a couple extra folders up at the top that we normally don't have. One of them is references. Placement plane, well that would be the top face here uh, to where we're going to open a sketch and drop that in. Front plane, well, a reason I have that is because I'm dimensioning the uh, this edge here at some angle from the front plane uh, so that I can uh, drive this thing around after I get it uh, where I want it. You know, I can just use that uh, dimension to send this so it's between a couple different spokes. Edge 1 is this circular edge here, cylindrical edge, so that I can make this thing concentric because that's its concentric relationship originally. So that's that's why that's there. Now, under dimensions, I've got a bunch of dimensions. And one of them is a flat angle from the front plane at sketch 3. And that's this angle on this um, edge right here when you look at the sketch. Okay, I'm going to put that in my locating dimensions. Now, all i got to do is just click and drag that right into that folder in my locating dimensions. So now I've got that where I want it. Perfect. Uh, save this. Close this. Now all I've got to do is grab this and drag it out as a library feature part and say, look, I want to put this where I want to put it. My placement plane is that face there. Perfect. It's looking for the front plane, so I can fly out my feature tree and pick the front plane to do the measurement from. And the edge, it's looking for that now, is this one. Okay, so there we go. And look, it's got a uh, angle plane, I mean an angle here, um, that uh, uh, that is one of my locating dimensions. That's that flat angle. And it's, this one's not correct. Well, with three spokes, I've got 120 degrees here uh, between the, the spokes center to center. Uh, so I need that set at 60. So if I double click in there and make that 60 and hit enter, it moves that right around and puts it where I want to go. Now, if I was doing uh, configurations of this wheel with a lot of different uh, spoke sizes and things like that, which I probably would, I would drive that dimension with an equation based on you know how many spokes. That would take the, the, the 360 degrees divided by the number of spokes and divide that by 2 to get this angle here. Uh, which is 60 degrees right now, right there. 60 degrees, okay? And you can see that's the flat angle uh, from a front plane uh, dimension. Okay, really that's it for uh, design library parts and pieces. Uh, I can just, you know, 
as I said, I can just hold control and grab a part in there um, and put it over there, fill out the little dialog box. Uh, when I want to uh, move these someplace, I can just grab these and move them. Uh, let's see what I got in the parts director. Oh, look, there we go. So um, I'll just go back here and I'll just grab this and this uh, one at a time and drag them right into parts. Um, parts. There we go. So now I have those here in parts. Whenever I want them, I can just find them and drag them right out. <laughs> okay. I hope you're uh, uh, finding this informative. This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Have a wonderful day.